This racist Karen attacked a black teenager at a swimming pool. Get out! Get out! Get out now! And this Karen attacks a kid in a park. And these clips just keep on getting more and more wild with a whole bunch of racist Karens versing kids. So make sure you guys watch until the end so you don't miss out on any of the crazy footage we have today. If you guys do enjoy or want updates on any of the clips posted in this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out when we upload new videos with updated information. So for our first Karen, we have an entitled 38-year-old racist Karen named Stephanie Sebi Strample who was at a community pool in Somerville, South Carolina before landing herself in some serious trouble. She was filmed striking a black black teenager and demanding him and his friends leave the pool and then karma strikes. Just take a look at this. How's that feel? Get out! Get out! Get out! Now! For real? There's three numbers I could dial. 911. Okay? Yeah, right. Get out! Little punks. Uh -huh. Get that out! According to an incident report, the 15-year-old and his friends were at this community swimming pool when they were approached by Sebi Strempel, who told them that they did not belong there and that they had to leave. He politely agreed to leave, trying to avoid confrontation, and as they were preparing to leave, she then started hurling racial slurs at them and then started harassing them. She then went on to hit him three times as he was leaving completely unprovoked and told him not to come back. Luckily, Karma caught up to this woman, because after the entire altercation happened, the footage was uploaded to Facebook and went viral, bringing in countless amounts of views and led to her getting arrested and charged in Dorchester County Court. Now, when detectives attempted to serve Sebi Strempel with an arrest warrant for third degree assault, she physically resisted arrest, pushing one officer into a wall, causing harm to his knee, and biting another officer on the arm. She was later found guilty of one count of third degree assault and two counts of assaulting, beating, or wounding an officer while resisting arrest. She was later released on $65,000 bond. So, this Karen comes to a park where a bunch of kids are playing, and she decides that she's going to harass a kid over some petty child nonsense and causes a scene as Karen's do and it's all caught on camera watch this you I'm saying this to please you can't touch him So she accused this kid of attacking her son and took his hat, refusing to give it back, acting like a complete child until his friend grabbed and snatched it out of her hands. She then proceeded to grab him viciously and wouldn't let go, dragging him around the place and accusing him of all sorts of things that are just absurd. This Karen is really something else. Her kid even comes up and tries to get her to let go and admits that he didn't push him and yet she still drags him on and drags the situation around. Luckily this was all caught on camera so she knew that she couldn't do anything else but who knows what this Karen would have done if the cameras were turned off. So next up we have two Karens. We have Olivia Winslow and Cameron Amy, both 21 years old, who harassed a kid and his mum who were peacefully protesting before things turned violent. Island. Seven year old Riley Wigton and his mum Abby Wigton attended a convention to peacefully protest Biden as the Democratic nominee for president. And that is when this altercation started. The mum stated that they ripped the sign from her arms and assaulted her seven year old son, ripping his MAGA hat from his head while cursing at him and just pushing him over. So these Karens really have no moral compass. Just check this out. Get away from Get, get your hat back, baby. Look at what you just did to my son. Get your hat back, baby. Get your hat back, baby. I just wanted to sit on the We don't give a f. Mom f***ing likes trying. Give me back my hat. 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 I'm telling you right now. You're gonna you're gonna steal my property? I'll follow you to your car and get your license plate. You want me to call 911? You want me to call 911? Taylor! 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 These people right here are taking your hat! They attacked my son! I have it on video! 
I have it on video. So the Karens got pretty heated pretty fast over these Trump supporters. Watch what happens next. So they got physical and one of the Karens actually attempted to sucker punch the mom recording the video and then the other Karen actually punched the father who came into the video but unfortunately we couldn't show that moment. But karma caught up to these Karens real quick as both Karens were arrested three days later and a grand jury in Delaware indicted them both on September 8th on felony charges of robbery, conspiracy and hate crimes and a misdemeanor charge of endangering the welfare of a child. Amy was also indicted on misdemeanor charges of assaulting the father who tried to retrieve the hat, attempting to assault the mother and offensive touching of the boy. The pair of Karens were also recorded a couple hours prior to this incident throwing coffee at someone and we got that footage for you right here. Alright, we voted for Trump. Why are you voting for Joe Biden? Why not Trump? Why do you go ahead? Isn't he a child molester? No, but Joe Biden is. Can you please get that phone out my face? I will throw my drink get at you. Get the phone out my face. We have a group of Karens who run up to two kids on their bikes doing absolutely nothing wrong and insist on starting an argument with them just for the sake of it. Check this out. Really? Yeah. Excuse me. You too. Excuse me. What, you That's think it's special? Respect. Excuse me. Why are you, you touching me? Special? Lastly, we have a cute video of a little girl standing up to a neighborhood Karen who's starting problems with her family. Check this out. When your grandma's neighbor is a Karen, but your three-year-old niece has your back. Let me talk to you. Nobody is supposed to park there. This is my auntie. I don't care who it is. There's no parking in front of these apartments. And she can do whatever she wants because she's my auntie. Oh, well, that's just tough, lady. They come. They come. Just remember guys, if you want updates on any of the clips in this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Have a good one everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.